Today is a very special Sunday. We're going to pray. We're going to thank God for this year. We come as little children to give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his mercies endure forever. We thank Jesus for keeping us throughout the year, for protecting us and our siblings, for keeping us safe with our families, for blessing us with so many blessings. And now we're going to ask our, our brother Mackenzie to recite for us a scripture. Says in Psalms chapter 118, verse 1, it says, Give thanks to the Lord. 
for he is good and his and his love endures forever. Amen. 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 enjoyed it. Did you love the story? The story about Joseph and the famine in the land of Egypt? Wow! We're going to continue talking about Joseph and the famine. So today we're talking about thriving in a famine. How can we live when the times are not easy? Hmm? How can we live when the times are not easy? When the things are not as we like them, how can we still be happy? Praise the Lord. So let us read in the book of Genesis chapter 41 and verse 56. This is what it says. When the famine had spread all over the country, Joseph opened up all the storehouses and sold grain to the Egyptians for the famine was severe. Now, from the story we are going to continue. Joseph opened up storehouses and sold grain to the Egyptians because the famine was very severe. What do you understand by famine? What is a famine? Well, a famine is a situation where there is lack of food, where there is no food to eat on a daily basis. It could be in the whole country, it could be in some parts of the country, it could be right there at home. A state where you do not have enough food to eat. Come to think about it, what is your favorite food? You can tell mommy, you can tell your sister, your brother seated next to you, your favorite food. My favorite food is Irish potatoes. I love them so much. But in a famine, maybe my Irish potatoes are not there, so I cannot have them anytime I want them. Okay? So what did Joseph do? Joseph was 30 years when he began serving in the house, in the courts of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. During that time, he interpreted the dream of the king. And this is what the dream meant, that there were going to be seven years where there would be a lot, a lot of food. Name it, every kind of food that you like was going to be there. But then after seven years, there would be a famine where there would be lack of food in the whole country. But this is what Joseph did. During the times when there was a lot 
lot of food. He built very many big, 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 just do like this, big, big, big storehouses in all the cities in the country. So there he collected lots of food from the people and he stored it so that when the famine comes, they can get food from him. Praise the Lord. God wants us to be like Joseph, to always store up food in times of plenty. Children, when there is a lot of food at home, it is not the time to waste it, okay? Do not serve a lot of food that you cannot finish on your plate. Make sure you do not serve anything that you're not going to eat. God does not like it when we waste food. He wants us to store food so we can use it the next time when we don't have. Another thing that we do when the times are hard, for example, you see the situation of COVID where we cannot hug ourselves, we cannot visit our friends, we cannot be at school, we always have to wash our hands, sanitize ourselves, cover our faces, we can't see our pretty smiles anymore. It's a hard situation. I know, but we can still be happy in this situation. Do you know what we should do? We should trust in the Lord and always pray, okay? That is one thing that we can store, we can do now that will help us in the times that when it is hard, we'll be safe. Always pray. Pray, little children, pray about everything. Pray in the morning, be, when you wake up, pray before you go to sleep, pray during, during the day, just pray all the time. It's a good thing to pray and it is a wonderful thing because God answers our prayers. God is faithful to provide for us everything that we need. Okay, that is a very wonderful thing. You see, we have been studying about being fruitful. Those are the series that we are almost finishing, being fruitful. God wants us to be fruitful even when it is hard. He wants us to continue praying even when it is hard. He wants us not to waste anything that he has given us even when it's hard. You've been very wonderful children. Now I want you to go ahead and pray to God. First of all, I want you to thank God for providing food in your homes, okay? And another thing that you are going to do, you're going to make sure you do not waste any food. If mommy is not able to give you chips and chicken, take you out for ice cream and do all those nice things for you, please don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. It's just that we are in a very difficult season. But be grateful for whatever the Lord is providing for you in your family. And be grateful. Don't you worry. God is faithful. He is going to provide for everyone everything that you need. Keep praying, keep trusting the Lord. Thank you so much. It has been awesome with you. I love you. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye. Wow. Welcome back from that amazing lesson. Thank you so much, Teacher Grace. Children, did you learn anything from that lesson? Yes, we did. Wow. Ariana, please tell us what you learned. Son? I learned to be grateful for what the Lord has given us. Wow, that's amazing. Clara, can you please tell us what you learned from the lesson? Yes, I learned to not waste what we have. Wow, thank you, Clara. We are going to go and dance one more time. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna ride the Lord is train. I'm gonna ride the Lord is train. I'm gonna ride the Lord is train. The Lord is train. I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride the Lord is train.
Salvation is the ticket, the Lord is trained. Salvation 